In today's video, I'm going to show you how to record your max screen. Now, you can just use OPS like I do. In fact, I'm going to leave a link to this screen recorder in the video description. However, the problem with this is that it's a pretty heavy software and not a lot of Macs, especially older Macs can handle it. So what are your other options? Well, you can just press Command, Shift and 5 at the same time and this bar at the bottom will show up. And you can just click on record entire screen and click on record and then it'll just record your screen now the problem with this is that if you go and try record audio for example all right i'm going to click on stop recording and preview my recording down here you can see it's not recording the audio this is the flaw of this software so i'm going to show you how to fix it now you want to go to black hole i'm going to leave a link to this in the description you can download the ten dollars to the developer if you want but you can just click on i can't afford to donate and you want to type in your email address i'm just going to use a temporary email address here so yeah and for first name and last name you can just type in whatever i'm just going to type him burned the kitchen and then click on send link to download and then it's going to ask you to check your email so i'm going to do that and then there he is the email from existential audio and click on this and then there's the, your download link you can just press on black hole 2 ch you don't need the other ones and save that and then start installing so click on continue and you can read all this paperwork if you want click on continue and just install the black hole now i already have this installed in my mac so i'm just going to hit exit and then we're going to go to the next part of the setup so you want to press command and space at the same time and it'll open up spotlight search and you want to type in audio midi setup now here you want to click on this plus button and click create aggregate device and click on black hole 2ch. Now if you want to record your mic to your you want to pass in your mic into this aggregate device but I'm not going to so we're just going to disable that. And then you are going to click on this plus button and click on create multi output device. And then what you want to do is select your headphone or speaker first before click on King on Black Hole 2 CH. It has to be in this order. If you messed it up, you want to deselect everything and then just click on headphone or speaker and then Black Hole 2 CH. And then you want to rename this. So let's say headphone recording. And you can rename this too, so it's just gonna name it Quick Time Record. You don't have to do it, but it makes it easier for you. Alright, so before we can test this out, you want to change your audio output device. You can easily do it by right clicking on the volume icon at the top here and then selecting the audio device. But for some reason, my Mac doesn't have the volume selector. I think it's an option. So you want to open up Spotlight Search again and type in sound output and then you double click this system settings and then in output here you want to change this into headphone recording the one the multi audio device that we just set up now if you notice you cannot change your volume here so you want to head back to your headphone and adjust your volume before you start recording and once you're done with that click on headphone recording and then you can just close this and then what you want to do is open up command shift 5 again to open up the bar at the bottom and click on options and here for microphone you want to select on quicktime record and then you can start recording all right let's stop the recording and see if it captures our audio As you can see, it successfully captured our audio, so yeah, there we go. And then once you're done recording, you can obviously go back to sound output and change your output back to your headphone or speaker. So that's it for 
today's video if you find this video helpful leave a thumbs up if you got any questions leave it in the comments below and if you want to see more from me click on subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell and see you next time